Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how to administer push dose epi. So push dose epi is typically used for non-traumatic hypotension. Uh, first, we're going to start by diluting our preload of epinephrine, and then I'll show you how to administer it, administering it using a, a three-way stopcock. So first of all, we're going to ask our patient if they have any allergies. We're going to go through our uh, six patient rights, and we're going to dice our medications. So we have epinephrine, that's the correct drug. Uh, integrity of the box looks pretty good. Uh, clarity we can't see yet, um, but the concentration is 1 to 10,000. And the expiration date is uh, September of 2014. We'll assume that it's good to go. Uh, I'm going to take it out of the box and dice it one more time. So it's the correct drug, right concentration, integrity looks good, it's clear, and expiration is the same. I'm also going to dice my flush. I have a 10 cc uh, pre-made flush and it is normal saline, 0.9%, good clarity, good integrity, and expires 10 of 2018. So I'm gonna to put together my epinephrine. So first take off both of the caps. Make sure you maintain aseptic technique and we're going to just screw these two together. And then we're going to zero it out. So hold it upright and start pushing on the glass until you get down to the zero line. With our flush, we're going to expel uh, one ml. So we want to have nine mls. So I'm gonna get rid of all the air and then I'm going to expel until I have nine mls. All right. Make sure you keep your caps uh, sterile so you can reuse them. Now I'm gonna open up my three-way stopcock. Same thing with these caps, make sure you keep them on if you're not using them. We're gonna be using these two ports for now. These are both the female ends and this is a male end. So first we're going to hook up the epinephrine. So we're going to screw that on. And now with the three-way stopcock, the way it works, there's three directions that the fluid can go and this white lever can move to any of those positions. So wherever the long part is, it says off. So right now this port is off. If I turn this up, this port is off. So this is the way I wanna leave it for now. I want these two ports to be open. Okay, so we changed out the vial and we added some dye to it just so you can see the way that the epinephrine is pulled out of this vial and into the syringe and uh, the concentration changes. So next thing we're gonna do is take off the cap of our flush and we're going to attach that to our other female port. Make sure that that's zeroed out. And now, all you simply have to do is either push on this vial or pull on this syringe plunger. And because this is a closed circuit, it will automatically draw from the other. Turn it so you can see. And so I'm gonna draw until I get to 10 mLs. All right, so we can disconnect the epinephrine now but before I do that, I'm going to turn off that valve. I'm gonna put this in the sharps. Make sure you recap, make sure those caps are sterile. And now we have our diluted epinephrine, which is gonna be used for uh, the push dose. So this is technically a one to 100,000 concentration now. So, we already have an IV established. We know that the patient doesn't have any allergies. So we're going to unscrew the male end. And with this port, we're going to take an alcohol prep, clean it off, and connect the three-way stopcock.
Okay, so our IV bag is running. We want that to be wide open for now. And what I'm gonna do is pinch this line above the site of injection. And per protocol, we're going to administer one ml of epinephrine over about a minute. And we can repeat that every one to five minutes until you get a systolic blood pressure over 90. So I'm gonna slowly push this. Let me turn that so you can see. So I'm gonna go down to the nine over about a minute. And every couple of seconds, I'm going to let go of the pinch. And you can see that because our bag is running, it's pulling some of that medication. I'm gonna pinch it again, push a little bit, and release. Pinch it, push a little bit, and release. That way you're getting a steady flow of medication into the patient's IV. Um, if you didn't do the pinch and release, you'd basically have, just for demonstration purposes, you have all of that epi sitting right here, the whole ML, and then as soon as you release, you have that whole ML infusing at the same time, so it's no longer a slow push. So make sure you do your pinch and release so it's a slow IV push. And make sure you reassess your patient for desired effects and adverse effects. And also, just so you can see what happens if you don't pinch the line above, I'm gonna leave that open, our bag is open. If you push it, the medication goes both directions. So make sure that you pinch above and do your pinch and release.